Now, Nigeria is ranked 120 on the World Press Freedom Index, a drop of five spots from its ranking in 2020. Reporters Without Borders describes Nigeria as one of West Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists, and the situation seems to be getting worse. Our correspondent, Victoria Agbi, has more. Nigeria is ranked 120 on the World Press Freedom Index, a drop of five spots from its ranking in 2020, placing Nigeria as one of West Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists, and the situation seems to be getting worse. People are, you know, gradually bearing their passion for the job. Yeah, we still have people that are, you know, trying their best to make sure that no matter what, we we'll always be out there. We have a lot of media houses in Nigeria that whenever they try as much as possible to lay their hands on an information, they either sanction them or even shut them down completely. But we still have people that are trying that, okay, I have passion for this job. I want people to know the truth about this, and they're still trying. Uh, in the Nigerian sense, you know, uh, it's, journalism is quite difficult because um, you, you have to be, you have to, you have to watch your back every time. So anything you do uh, that is under the, you know, pretext of you doing your work and you don't, you just have to look your back. In Nigeria, the freedom of expression is protected by Section 39, Subsection 1 of the Federal Republic of Nigeria's Constitution. Despite this constitutional protection, the Nigerian media was controlled by the government throughout as much of its history, with some even to this day. Nigerian censors typically target certain kinds of ideas such as ethnic discussion, political opposition, and morality incorrectness. Look at what happened during um, this NSAS protest and all of that. We have some media houses that were sanctioned by this um, Nigerian Broadcasting Commission. They have to sanction them. You don't have to put this information out there. You don't have to do this. You are the one supporting these people. You are the one, you know. So they have to shut them down at some, uh, at, at some part. So definitely, where's the freedom, uh, the, the freedom of speech now coming from? We all know if there is freedom of speech, if you're talking about something, speech and cause a lot of things, either the good ones, either the bad ones, either the vulgar ones, and all, and all of that. So a lot of things are encoded in that word speech. If you're not, um, if, 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 if you're going to frown at some things being said, then it should have been included in the 99 Constitution, I'm sorry to say. Because if some people will say some things that you hold against them, then there should have been chances for freedom of speech at all. Following the Twitter ban, NBC directed all social media platforms and online broadcasting service providers operating in Nigeria to apply for a broadcast license. This was followed by a controversial amendment to the NBC Act, which sought to stifle media organizations. It has a lot of roles to play, and um, but most especially the stakeholders in the media world, they have to be cooperative and affirmative at the same time. They have to tell the government that um, we have an association, we have a body, and we have a way of doing our thing. So it is not every government policies they can actually, uh, uh, they can actually accept or they, they, they should have a body that, you know, that counters the government some other time, sometimes, because the government, most of the time, tends to serve its own interest. If the government succeed in its latest attack on press freedom, there is no reason to think it will stop anytime soon. With general elections two years away, laws and regulations that restrict the media could hinder reporting on electoral regularities. It is therefore important that the government strives to fulfill its democratic responsibilities. Victoria Agri, reporting for Captain TV News.